Hey, hey, get your ass over there. My girls were robbed. You were cheating. They didn't do but they win. What kind of competition is this? We didn't get second place. We got first place. You a sore loser. I have pushed the beef squad to their breaking point and back this week. I have literally squeezed everything out of them that I could get out of them. But are they competition ready? I'm really hoping so. Working, working, work that's all, that's all, that's all, that's all. You better hurt me, hurt me, hurt me, cause they about to jump off. I'm talking, clocking, 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 yeah. I can't get over no time, I'm fucking overdrive. I'm fucking passing to me now, I'm passing it back. Working and working and working and working. I dance on the beat so they close the curtain. Ooh, we going crazy. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. You better work, you better work, you better work. was ready in the beginning, but at the end of it, they kind of had lost it, and they kind of was everywhere. And I'm like, please let them pull through. Everything is hanging on and weighing on the decision of the judges right now. I really hope the B-Squad did enough so that the veterans can move on to the next round of stands. And the team moving on to the next round is... Please, Lord, please. From Columbus, Georgia, Eddie Girl Stands I can't remember the last time we lost the first round of a competition. This may be a first time. That <laughs> set their <laughs> up all <laughs> week. I already know how it's gonna go. Move back, move back. That <laughs> don't. Excuse me, excuse me. Sylvia, she just completely lost it. I just hope she calmed down because you don't want to mess with Coach D. Yeah. Sylvia, don't come back here. You don't see any of the other parents back here, so don't come back here. Sylvia's run her big bony black ass back here on my turf as if she's trying to check me. But this is my team. I understand. This is it. my team. And you can, but you can wait. You can wait. Be nothing. It's not always about winning. It's about helping the girls grow. And Sylvia should know that. She's a parent. She knew what she was doing. This bitch been a set up all week. Who's been, who been a set up? That's been a set up all Me? week. It's been a set up all week. You Hell a salty. Yeah. You a sore loser. And in our category of stand battle, coming in first place from Dallas, Texas, <laughs> Explosive Dance Company. You guys should have won. But hey, it's at the judge's discretion, always. Like we always say, you gotta practice like a champ, perform like a champ, win like a champ. You also gotta learn how to lose like a champ. Maddie won round one, but the Birmingham baby won round two. So now we're one and one. It's up to half paint. If she lose, we lose. If she win, we win. It's a lot of pressure on a little baby. I just hope half paint can handle it. I hope I win because if I win, the whole team wins. Ladies and gentlemen, our final two dancers. Let's get it. Let's go. Put me on to the stage. I'm making it an open. It's all down here. They can sit in me open. Easy breezy. So I'm shining the city. Look at me pop pop. Never stop like this. I'm on top top. Watch your boy get busy. Spin in the rock top. Now the flavor is tasting. Before you get hasty. My game on point. Never the one that plays it. My game on point. Let me know. She wasn't half pint, she was a whole freaking gallon. Half pint just dances and dances and dances. She got face, she got attitude, she got a whole lot of everything. Wow, half pint, she set the field on fire. The Q factor goes to Half Pint. The attitude factor goes to Jamiria. The swag factor goes to both the behinds. So to be honest, I don't know who the judges are gonna pick. It could go either way at this point. And now it's in the hands of the judges. Birmingham.
Cusack hands. Hey, hey, get your ass over there. Get your ass over there and go shake her hand. Demiria has an attitude and does not want to shake Half Pint's hand. You're not going to always freaking win. You have to know how to compete. And knowing how to compete means knowing how to win gracefully and also to lose gracefully. Sportsmanship and sportsmanlike conduct is a big deal to me. It is my job and the job of all the coaches at that Birmingham studio to make sure the dancing dolls of Birmingham continue to win with class and to lose with class. When I say I perform them, let their asses have it. Y'all deserve to win. Y'all work hard. It's like everybody else. Stay focused. You're cleaner than them. That's what Tiger Red is. Y'all, we cleaner than them all day. We didn't come down here to pity pad around the fence or whatever. It's shut up and dang it. over and I feel like it could go either way. The team moving on to the final round is from Jackson. 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 I don't feel like anybody in this room should be dropping a tear about You were cheated. I believe that we didn't win the stand battle. That's a bunch of foolery to me. What kind of competition is this? You know that you were gooped. You know that you won. I am a little bit skeptical about this duet because Cameron, of course, has never danced with Faith. And Faith has never had a solo, a duet, trio, <clears throat> anything. I had my doubts when Cameron and Faith started working on the routine, but in the end, I was 100% moved by what they did. The crowd was just so taken back that when they clapped and they cheered, it was more like, wow. And in duo, coming in second place, our team is from Jackson, Mississippi, the Dancing Dolls. Second place? Oh. Second place in Creative Dance goes to Dancing dogs. But I, I'm trying to understand. Like, I, honestly, when we lose, I take it all in stride. Hell, it happens. And sometimes it's just subjective. But today, I really feel like my girls were robbed. The dancing dogs today were simply just better. I felt like the elite stars of Nashville were even better than the divas of Macon. That's the third time that whack ass do it. Flex ass feet, terrible ass turns. They didn't do but they win. Ain't no way in hell they were better than them today. I quit. And don't nobody text me, don't call me, and y'all get y'all As I walk away from this competition, I've learned that regardless of how well you put out the best product possible, sometimes there's gonna always be somebody that's gonna find a flaw. But it is what it is. Moving on into the next week, the girls have got to strap up their boots and let's go. This needs to be a knockout. There will be six teams battling today. Each judge has been selected by one of the teams that's challenging in this battle today. Even this 
despite all the intense tension and everything that's going on in the room, Dancing Dolls ate them up. Can you do the math? We got three and three. Looking at the scores, it's a tie. We're gonna have to go again. Judge number seven. Oh, no, 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 no. Judge seven? Where does Judge seven come from? There's 16, so why are there seven judges? Drum roll, please. Give us a moment, Brad! The rule said six judges, six teams, six judges. Every team was supposed to submit a judge. And if something changed, I should have been notified going into all this prior to. This happens. It happens to the best. Next week, all I can say is it's on. And from here on out, we don't lose no more. You make a mistake in practice, you cut. You come to practice late, you cut. You talk in the plan, you cut. This is what it's going to take in order to be good, not just in dance, but in life, period. We'll be back. And when we come back, beware. Well, I'm stand by Lamont. Is that the best you got? It's time for the Diva Die stand. Here comes our makeup artist, Jay Structure, dressed up as Neva the Diva. And the crowd goes bananas. Oh, she's trying to beat me. This papa is trying to beat me. No, she did Watching Neva, she's very upset. She's mad. She can throw that dirt, but she don't want nobody to throw it back at her. That's Diana! I think I can do is laugh. I'm looking at Neva. She is mad as I don't know what, but Jay is killing it. And the bad thing about it, they really look alike. That's the bad thing about it. The day Diana came for you is, and I think we murdered that scene. <laughs> I got you, and you know I got you. Now you gotta take that. And the winner of Stand Battle is the Dancing Dogs. This feels great because everything we've worked on, everything we've been practicing on, paid off, and the dogs have my back and I have theirs, and this is just a good week. And in second place, the Divas of Olive Branch. Anybody that was in the stands, they know the Divas of Olive Branch won. All I can say is there had to be some problems in the judging. Dini Boy! Let's get it right! Let's go! Ain't nobody in here second place! We didn't get second place, we got first place. And that's the only thing that we were gonna accept. I don't give a 